Hey folks, Brent Thompson here with MCT Productions. I get asked a lot of questions on how to score a deer and how I score a deer. So I'm going to break down, I'm going to show you all the stuff you really need to do to get a pretty close rough score on your deer. All I use, blue painter's tape is what I had, some masking tape. Use the soft, just craft tape from the craft department in Walmart, the tape measure, of course, and your pen and paper. Alright, well, let's get started here. First you're going to take your tape. The first misconception that everybody has about where to measure a tine is that they think it's the center of the beam, a lot of people think, and that is not correct, and it's definitely not the bottom of the beam. That's what the tape's for. You're going to pull off a few inch piece of tape, and what you do is, you go from the top of the main beam to the top of the main beam across that tine. So, we'll put this tape on here from main beam to main beam across the tine. And now, what that does is it gives you a straight line to go off of. It's from the top to the top and it cuts straight across the tine. So now you measure from this piece of tape to the tip. So I'm going to get all the tape on all these tines. Stay with me and then we'll start measuring. Alrighty, now that we have tape going across all these tines, and then you see on the brows, it goes from main beam across to main beam. Now we can take our measurements of tine length. So I'm going to start with the G1s, are the brow tines, G2s, G3s. This is only an eight pointer, so it doesn't have G4s or fives or so on. So, what I'm going to do is, on this piece of paper, you put left side, right side, G1, and so on, down the line. Now circumference measurements, there's four of them. It's the smallest diameter in between the base and the brow tine, the brow tine and the G1. You always go with the smallest measurement. So it's not always the center like everybody thinks it is. It's the smallest measurement. But when there is no G4, so this eight pointer, it is the halfway point between the G3 and the tip. You measure the halfway point. That's your fourth circumference measurement. So I'm going to write down the H1, H2, H3, H4 is the circumference measurements in the book. So I'm going to write down all four of those. Now, the next category is main beams and width and then extras. Well, as you can see, this is a clean eight pointer. So he has no extras, so I don't even need to write down that category. So I'm gonna write down main beam. I'm just gonna put MB, MB, and then width, I'll put below. So now, let's get started. We're going to measure the tines. 
I always just start right at the tape line and then you follow the curve with your fingers on the tape on up to the tip and we've got seven and a half inches and this looking at the deer it is the opposite I you would say left but this is actually the deer's right so you'd say right side is seven and a half and then you measure the opposite side which is the deer's left and it's six and three quarters so now real quick when you go to do the gross score which that's what we are going to do is the gross score of this deer you add everything the net score is when you deduct so being seven and a half inches and then six and three quarters inches you have a three quarters of an inch difference that would be deducted just from these two tines okay now that being said I'm gonna measure up the rest of these tines real quick so stay tuned I'll be measuring these up. circumference measurements like I was saying before you go with the smallest circumference measurement so you kind of move your tape around a couple different times wiggle it around check it out all over the smallest measurement we have here is four and seven eighths this is the deer's right horn And again, now for the second measurement, in between the G1 and G2, you don't go in the center all the time. I mean, it could be the center is where the smallest diameter is, but it is the smallest measurement. So check it multiple times, and it's pretty much consistent at 3 and 7 eighths. Three and three quarter. Now, here you pick the center between nine inches, so at three and a half inches, right here. Two and seven eighths. Now I'll do the same. On the opposite side, And again, halfway point between nine and a quarter would be three and five eighths, right there. We got two and five eighths. Now we have the main beams. Two and three quarter.
22 and 5 eighths. Now as I was saying before, the actual really official and accurate way to do this is you get a steel cable and you run that steel cable along there and you have a tape measure that's down on a board or on the table or somewhere and you just take and mark that steel cable and you measure on that board that you have your tape measure out on because that steel cable going around the main beam it doesn't kink or curve or move or stretch at all like this could. But like I said, for rough scoring, this kind of tape measure is plenty accurate enough. Then, last and final measurement is main or width, and you kind of straight across, just go up and down, find the greatest width, and it is 18 and a half. 18 and a half. So now we have all our measurements because there's no extra tines, so we don't need anything in that category. We're going to get the calculator out, add this up really quick, and we'll show you what we got. All right, everyone. As you can see here, this is a real nice eight pointer. And the total score of this deer is 141 inches. So now, with them little tips, you can rough score your deer. And as you can see, it's not real hard. It's straight across from main beam to main beam. You don't necessarily need tape if you can eyeball it good and close, but the tape gets you a little more accurate. And then on top of it, like I said, if you really want to get more accurate, get yourself like a 16th inch, 8th inch at the most, just a little steel cable, and you can wrap it around all the tines, mark it, have your tape out flat on a board, not stretched or nothing and you can measure it that way and it'd be a hair more accurate but I can guarantee you that measurement that you get doing it this way will get you right in the ballpark of how close your deer will actually score so hope this helps thanks for watching